Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about a very special player, Kem Birch. He is a Canadian who plays for the Toronto Raptors, finally, and he had a breakout season. So, he played for Orlando for a few years, and then he went, he's been all over the world trying to get into the NBA, and he had a heck of a season. So, in Orlando, he was getting some pretty good minutes. This year, he was getting 20 minutes a game. The year before, he was getting around 20 minutes a game as well. And then this year, he got traded half Halfway through the season, roughly, uh, maybe the last couple of, uh, well, maybe the last third of the season, he got traded, and to Toronto, and from there he just exploded. He went from 20 minutes a game to 30 minutes, so he got 50% more time on the court because Coach Nick Nurse coaches Team Canada, and he knows Ken Birch and how he can play. So. Some of the really notable things that I really want to point out is, first off, if you're a player looking to become better, you're going to need to also find a coach that has the same mindset and knows you as a player. Know, and knowing your coach and being basically one with your coach is going to really benefit you. And why I say this is because they... This is just amazing numbers. So, games played for Orlando was 48. Games played for Toronto was 19. Games started for Orlando was 5. Games started for Toronto was 17. From there, he then went from an average of four, uh, 0.45, which is basically 45% from the field, to 55%. That is a 10% increase because his coach, Nick Nurse, put him into a position to be able to play the way he should. Next is his three-point percentage. This is the crazy part. His whole entire career, he shoots roughly 25%. Now, this year with Orlando, he was shooting 19% from three. With Toronto, he shot 29% from three. And he was also averaging five more, or what is it? That would be five times or six times more threes attempted in Toronto than he attempted in Orlando. That alone is huge. And then when you start fast forwarding through to the different stats, he's going from 5.3 points per game in Orlando to Toronto getting 12 points per game. He only got 50% more time in Toronto, yet he has more than doubled than what he points than what he got in Orlando. This is huge. He also got double the amount of blocks. He also got 50% uh, more uh, assists. This is huge. He also got 50, roughly 50% 50 more uh, from rebounds. Like, this is huge. He didn't just get 50% more on everything. He got more on something. So this is why I say you really need to find a team and coach that you were, are suited to play for. So let's get down. Let's check out what made Ken Birch so good this season. Now, Ken Birch is actually very good in the screen and roll game. He is able to use that screen and roll, and if he's with a point guard who is very good at passing through a double team and able to get that ball through to a rolling player, you're going to be very successful if you're a very good screen and roll player yourself. We can see this with simple plays like this with Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry is very good at drawing a double team, getting that hedger to come over. Of course, not many teams would be worried about a Ken Burch because he's only an, a 5 point per game average player. But with Toronto, he more than doubles that. And because of that, players like Kyle Lowry who are very good at using the screen and roll can get that ball to Ken Burch. And Ken Burch doesn't just score with the ball, he's able to pass when he draws double teams for players like OG Ananobi, and anytime you can get your teammates more points is also a very good thing. Let's not forget, when you're with a team that is able to get you the ball off of the screen and roll, you can be forced up against a help defender who is maybe not in the best position to defend you or knows how to defend you because of course sometimes you may not get the playing time. So you can actually do some crazy moves like this one and still get that foul. Now he did miss this shot but he did make his free throws. He actually shoots a higher free throw percentage in Toronto. Now this next clip is a defensive clip. Anytime you get to a new team you really want to play good defense and the more better defense that you can play the better. And then if you can transition into the offensive side from your defense and to run different offensive sets with your teammates to get your teammates baskets like this you are going to be a very valuable valuable player for your team. 
And this is something that I used to always say with my teammates when I played high school basketball. Look on the weak side. Look for the trailer. He was trailing this play. I think he just finished a block or got a charge and it wasn't called or something. And he came down, cutting down an open lane because OG was getting double teamed here. OG was able to pass to him and he was able to finish with a dunk. Anytime that you can cut back door, anytime that you can be the trailer, and if your team knows to hit the trailer, which my teams never did, they will be able to get you more points and you're able to get them more assists. Now this is actually a very deadly spot. The high post. Why is it a, a very deadly spot? Well, actually, if you're in the high post and you've got your team's got the ball in the corner, this is the corner, this is the wing, this is the point. And if you've got your teammate in the corner and he drives baseline, most likely your man is going to come down to try and contest that layup. Well, if that's the case, you need to cut down because you are absolutely going to be wide open and you can finish with massive dunks as well, of course, if you can dunk. Also, don't forget to run the floor. So here we have Pascal Siakam running some very good defense and then they're able to go two on one mainly because we have a player here who likes to run. Like being able to run, if you can be the runner and be the trailer you can finish with some pretty easy baskets two on one sometimes or even one on none also be a willing passer being in the key doesn't mean that you have to throw up a shot every single time if you are inside the key and you have the ball most likely you're going to get double teamed and there's going to be a perimeter player who is wide open for threes even if you are a low three-point percentage shooter, always have confidence to take that shot. Now, something that a lot of coaches, or a lot of coaches, but a lot of players will say is Nick Nurse will always say, if you're wide open, jack that shot. And that will give your teammates a lot of a lot of a lot of confidence and when that happens he doesn't have the most prettiest of shooting forms but guess what if you're confident that can raise your shooting percentage 5 10 15 percent knowing that your coach is not going to bench you if you miss one single three-point shot here we see offensive rebounds getting gathered by uh, Ken Birch as well. This is just a fantastic player that you can model your game around. So by becoming a great defensive player, finding a coach, a team, and a system that works for you can help double your stats very simply. And then by having a coach or even a teammates that will give you just basically praise for anything. Hey, if you're open, jack it. Go for it. I don't care if you're a 10% point, a 10 three-point shooter. If you're wide open, take it. There's a way that you can get more confidence. There's a way of getting your shot made more often, and that is by having confidence to take that shot because if you've got confidence to take it, you're going to take it more in game, which then allows you to practice more in-game threes. I've seen players who were 40 50% 50%, 60%, ridiculous three-point shooters in practice. But as soon as they got to game, they were tanking 5 10% only from three. Now, if you can have the confidence to shoot from there, that will up your percentage to what whatever practice three-point percentage is for you. So this is huge. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe. Go check out Ken Birch, Team Canada, Nick Nurse. They're going to be amazing this year. And I'll see you guys in my next video.